think all of us would agree that having the fans back in the stadiums was one of the best things about Euro 2020. Now, of course, we can argue that maybe it was a bit too soon because there's still a pandemic happening, but that doesn't change the fact that these games were more entertaining because of the fans. Which led to one of my favorite moments in this whole tournament, which was this. And this happened when Switzerland defeated world champion France, which was a huge upset because nobody saw it coming. But what if I told you that someone or something actually did? The KU Leuven BTAI Sports Analytics Lab executed a statistical simulation to predict the outcome of Euro 2020. Their simulation took into account the results of historical games, team skill level, and predicted the odds of each country's performance. And this was the result of their simulation. They predicted every single knockout game correctly. Every single one. You can use their simulation to recap Euro 2020. It's simply incredible. The only reason why I know about this simulation is because of my friend Abdo. Abdo is a data scientist and he used their simulation to help him win our private Euro 2020 prediction league. Now even though he's a data genius, he isn't someone I considered a football tactical genius. So when he was leading the prediction league, I knew something was up. I did not cheat. Well, you used an AI to help you predict the outcomes, that's cheating. Right. Well, it's not precisely that, you know? It's like I athletic using help. steroids, come on. But it's not true. It's not true. It's doing your preparation. So one thing that I want to tell you today is that I didn't just blindfolded use the data from an AI or the outcome from an AI to help my prediction. I'm a data practitioner. So I thought maybe I can use some of that data work to make better informed predictions. At the end of the day, it was my call. So for example, right? I want to calculate or I want to understand, first of all, who's going to win in a game? Who is first most likely to score? And if I should go double down on that game, right? So these are the three main decisions that you make in that tournament that we played, right? That's true. For, for the first one, I just looked at the overall form of a team right so okay. given the strength of the opponents that they played given how much they scored given their their, their last uh, over the past five to ten years how did their form fluctuate and the form of the other team and i used a tool called kickoff ai that just put these two things against each other and gave a probability of a win draw or lose but just because a team had a higher probability of winning doesn't mean I will just go and vouch for that team, you know? Because if the probability of winning is 30%, but that is higher than a tie and higher than the draw, 30% in the world of forecasting is just probable. Here is where the supercomputer comes in, right? Yeah. And there is a, a quite a nice technique that is actually used for card games called the Monte Carlo simulation. And this is a simulation that considers the statistical probabilities that let's say kickoff AI uses, but it also looks at the inform the, the tournament form of a team. And it also feeds these simulations with unknown random variables, like a red card, you know, things that sway the odds, you know, a lot. So a red card, player uh, uh, gets injured, they go into penalty kicks, all these things that, that you know, don't really count to normal simulations. And you have a supercomputer running these simulations with an immense amount of variables that out of 100,000, 200,000, a million simulation, it goes like, all right, we know we ran it a million times. And out of this million times, you know, Italy won the tournament at the end. So AI cannot help you predict the future but it can help you prepare. Boom, like and subscribe. 
like and subscribe of course this is the greatest <laughs> channel of all time this is the goat of youtube channels if you want to learn if you want some thought it flair on your videos go for it